Glass bubbles can be used to lightweight plastic composites. I'm showing graphs on this slide, nylon on the left and polypropylene on the right, that show the reduction in density of the composite material as we increase the volume percent of glass, glass microspheres. So on the y-axis, we show the density of the resin by itself, nylon at 1.14 and polypropylene at 0.9 grams per cc. As we increase the volume percent of glass bubbles, we can reduce the density. For example, in nylon, we've reduced the density to 0.98 as we've added 30 volume percent of glass bubbles. We can even reduce the, the density of nylon to the point where we can make it float in hydrocarbon fuel. Polypropylene, again, showing the reduction of density with increasing volume percent of glass bubbles. The, the second property that I want to talk about that's improved with the addition of glass microspheres, glass bubbles, is CLTE, or coefficient of linear thermal expansion. And here we're showing the property for nylon above and below its glass transition temperature. CLTE is the expansion and contraction of plastic or other materials as they're heated and cooled. Because glass does not expand and contract as much as plastic resin materials do, the more volume percent you add of glass bubbles to the plastic composite, the more you'll reduce the CLTE or improve this property. And this will provide better fit and finish of plastic uh, parts that snap fit together or fit together in applications such as automotive where they might be shaken and, and vibrate uh, and, and be in contact with one another. Another benefit that glass microspheres provide for dimensional stability is reduction of mold shrinkage, which is somewhat related to CLTE. But we can provide a, a, an improvement in terms of dimensional stability with CLTE and mold shrinkage in plastic composites. The third benefit I'd like to talk about is the improvement in stiffness of the plastic composite. As we put stiffer glass particles into ductile plastic, the more we put in, the stiffer we're going to make the plastic composite. So here we're showing Young's modulus for nylon and polypropylene, nylon on the left and polypropylene on the right, and we can see the increased stiffness of the composite as we increase the level of glass bubbles. So all in all, we can provide benefits of light weighting, improvements in dimensional stability and reduction in CLTE, and improvements in stiffness in plastic composites by the use of glass microspheres.